Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Chinese Dongfeng 21 or DF-21 is a two-stage solid-filled rocket single warhead medium-range ballistic missile. The latest DF-21D was said to be the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile. The PLA has already developed and operationalized DF-21D which is launched from land-based mobile launcher. It has a range of 1500 kilometers and can achieve maximum speed of Mach 10. On 19th April, the PLA Navy or PLAN has released a footage of a missile fired from its heavily armed Type 055 cruiser. The missile seems to be YJ-21 anti-ship ballistic missile. It could be seen that the cold launch could be of a two-stage missile which means it could be an anti-ship ballistic missile along with hypersonic glide vehicle. The same missile was seen on Chinese H-6N bomber which is based on Soviet-era Tu-16 Badger. The air launch anti-ship ballistic missiles, the ship launched YJ-21s and ground-based DF-21D missiles are now the part of China's anti-access area denial A2AD capabilities which will keep US aircraft carrier strike groups at a distance far enough from Chinese shores to make their fighter aircraft and cruisers useless. Now Indian Navy is also looking to build similar type of missile which could be launched from its warships. Last month we have reported regarding various projects for which Ministry of Defense has accorded acceptance in principle for Army, Air Force and Navy. One of them was Glide SSM missile. The developmental cost for the same is close to Rs 230 crore and Indian Navy is planning to acquire 115 such missiles. While there are not much information available regarding this project, however, from what it seems, it is going to be a ship-launched ballistic missile with hypersonic glide vehicle. The missile will be launched from a modular, scalable and vertical launcher of Indian naval warships. Therefore, it is expected that the dimension of missile is going to be same as that of Brahmos. The Chinese Type 55 has vertical launch cells which can accommodate missiles of up to 9 meters length and 850mm diameter and YJ-21 is also expected to be of similar dimension. Now if we look at the Brahmos dimension, it is pretty close to this with length of 8.4 meter and diameter of 600 mm. This indicates that the new missile would be similar in the dimension to that of Brahmos. Since this is going to be a hypersonic glide vehicle, it will fall into make one category which means government will fund up to 70% of developmental cost of the prototype. At present, the HTNP Industries is the only startup working on hypersonic glider called HGV-202F. The hypersonic glide vehicle is mounted on a booster rocket or an ICBM. Like a payload or a conventional rocket, the booster takes it to the required altitude in a range of 60 to 100 plus km and provides the initial orientation and speed. The HGV then abandons the expanded booster and re-enters the atmosphere and performs a high degree pull-up maneuver to enter the glide phase and finally the terminal trajectory. The glide vehicles are unpowered gliding body and uses aerodynamic forces to glide towards the target with a speed close to Mach 10. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.